Today we're going to take a look at the rearrange function here in Fourscore. The first thing to do is to make sure the score that you want to rearrange is open and then we're going to head to the menu setting at the top right here and jump to rearrange. Now what does the rearrange function do? Well, thankfully, it's going to allow us to rearrange pages, but it also will do a lot more than that. It's going to allow you to delete pages that you don't need, to duplicate pages, and of course, to add other pages as well. And we'll come to that in a little moment's time. Now, the first thing to note here on this display is the page numbers, these large page numbers. These are super useful if you've got a large score with a lot of pages where they don't all fit within this display. The page changes will only take place, and the page number changes, that is, will only take place once you head up here and click Save or Save As. Rearranging pages is as simple as pick it up and move it. And there you will see that the original page numbers are still on each of those pages. If you want to duplicate, you'll notice here on the bottom right of each of these uh, thumbnails is plus. So if I click plus, you'll see that I now have to page threes. So that might be quite useful if you've got a document where you have repeats and it's just much easier to advance pages rather than to place a button to return to another point. So easily deleted by clicking the X like so. If you also have a document, a large document uh, that has got pages where the orientation is not how you want it to be, you can do this and you can change the orientation of the page there. Super, super useful. Now, what happens if we want to add a brand new score or some blank pages? Well, I'm going to bring your attention down to the bottom of the screen here and we're going to click the plus. If you click this, you have the option to insert anything that's currently within your library. So if I wanted to do to uh, add a an entire score, then I could simply do this and click done. And then you'll see it's brought that in. And again, because the, the file is different, it's very brilliantly put the title of the additional file in here. So again, if I was to add another score to this, and let's choose something Christmassy and done, you'll see that the file name is appended to the top of the page there with the original page numbers for that particular file. Again, really, really, really useful. But what if you want to add a blank page, say some manuscript or something along those lines? Well, at the bottom here, we've got my library, which is where I've been pulling these from. But on the bottom right, we've got templates. And so you can choose a blank page. You could choose a manuscript page and there's a, there's a number of options uh, that you can work with here as well. And notice that you have the option to add more than one of those kinds of pages. So let's say I wanted to add uh, three pages of the single staff here. I can click done and then I have them down here. And again, all super movable. Okay, as quickly as picking it up, moving it somewhere else, uh, making this file look very complicated right now. I appreciate that. Um, but likewise, if you were then to want to add, say, two blank pages, and maybe one of them is going to head to the beginning of the file. So I'm going to grab this and then move it to the top like so. Everything shuffles along really nicely. And it's then as simple as either saving here, which will overwrite the exact document that you began with, or you can do save as and give it a brand new title. This is also a useful function if you want to duplicate a file that you have in existence and you want to give it a specific name. You can just load it into this rearrange function and then click save as on the top right and you can give it an entirely new name. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, feel free to leave any comments below.